blue eyes versus N8N in 2025. Which automation tool should you choose? Whether you are building AI workflows or automating everyday tasks, this guide will break down the pros, cons, and ideal use cases of each. So let's dive in. Overview. First, let's start with the basics. Flowwise is an open source visual tool specifically built for creating LM based AI agents using tools like Langchain. It is tailored for AI beginners and developers working on chatbots, retrieval based agents, and more. N8N, on the other hand, is a general purpose workflow automation platform. Think of it as an open source alternative to Zapier or Make, where you can connect apps, services, and databases using logic based flows. So while both are no-code, low-code tools, their goals are different. Flowwise is AI first, and 8N is automation first. Features comparison. Now let's compare some features. User interface. Flowwise has a sleek, intuitive drag-and-drop interface built for length chain components. It's easy to visualize chains, retrievers, memory, and tools. n 8 n also uses drag-and-drop nodes, but its library is focused on general APIs databases and logic like webhooks, loops, and conditionals. Integration. N8N wins here. It supports over 400 native integrations out of the box, including Google, Slack, Airtable, and more. Flowwise is more specialized. Integrations are mainly around LLMs, OpenAI, Hugging Face, Vector Stores, and Embeddings. AI Capabilities. Flowwise is purpose-built for LM chains. You get real-time conversation handling, memory modules, and support for custom tools. While N8N can integrate with AI APIs, it is not optimized for building agents or chaining prompts. Final verdict. Choose Flowwise if you are building AI workflows, bots, or anything length chain powered. Choose N8N for business process automation, app integration, and no-code back-end logic. Either way, both tools are powerful, free to try, and actively evolving in 2025. Which one are you using? Drop down below in the comments. And thank you for watching guys and see you in a new video.